Hey guys, welcome to Captain Bob. Today I will show you how to make some items you can find at Lowe's into a 737 yoke. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. The other day I went to Lowe's and got a half, a two inch 90 degree elbow and a two inch PVC pipe. Actually it's ABS. You can get PVC but ABS was like two dollars cheaper so you know we're doing it. If you haven't figured it out already the elbow goes on top of it and it's gonna act as the little and the pipe is going to act as the control column. My first step is going to be to smooth out all of the bumps on the elbow because they can just mess with the quality and stuff. So I'm going to do that with my random orbit sander. To show you the power of flex tape, I cut this pipe in half. So I just cut mine at 32 inches. I think that's about 84 centimeters. But you should really cut it at about 30 inches, because you get, then you would get two per pipe. You could make pilot and co-pilot. So cut it at 30 inches, or I think 78 centimeters. When you're standing with it, it looks super short. It's like a little cane. But don't worry, it looks a lot taller when you're sitting down. <laughs> that looks a lot cooler in my brain. To join these two, you could just dry fit them, or you can use PVC glue, or you can use self-tapping screws. You can put those in and it'll make, give it an aircraft look. So I just drilled two little slots and made sure they were tight with the hinge. So it's supported by its own weight right now. And it, so the hinge is right here. So you have about, I guess, 30 degrees or so of forward and about 30 backwards too. I'll have to measure it to be sure though. But hey, guess what? You got yourself your own little noise maker. For the actual yoke itself, I'm going to use a cereal box. Just kidding, that's a joke. Don't, don't be offended. You can 3D print one, buy one from a real 737, which can cost you like more than the yoke itself is worth. Or you can make one, which is what I'm going to do. So right now, I just found this picture online. I'm going to copy it and paste it into a publisher. But this seems a little small, so I'm going to look up the actual dimensions of a 737 yoke. So, I found this one. So, from here to here is 27 centimeters. I have no clue what that is. So yeah, 10.6 inches. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. It's about 13 inches or 1 or 34 centimeters. And now I'm going to print I'm going to have to print it tiled because it only it's a little weird. So yeah, this is how it's going to work. So I just printed off the template and now I'm going to spray adhesive it onto the pretty board.
I used the Loctite temporary spray adhesive, but you can use whatever spray adhesive you want, or basically anything sticky, like glue or your little brother's saliva. So right now, I want to drill some holes and put screws in them, and that will make them feel like they're two pieces of wood. Okay, so you want the screw to be flush or less than flush, or indented in the wood, otherwise the jigsaw or bandsaw might catch it, and then that would be nasty, or mess it up. Both would be pretty bad. So I just barely finished the yoke. It's a little rough, so I'm gonna sand it down and go over it with the router table and with just a round over bit so that it's not as blocky. Right now I'm going to sand off the top just a little bit to make it pretty, then maybe use wood filler and wood glue. I used Krillin Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer Gloss Black. Yeah. I'm just using this because it's glossy, and I feel like a yoke would be glossy, because it's a freaking yoke. So here's my finished product. Kind of glossy and shiny. Looks nice. Looks like a real 737 yoke. Except for this is kind of off-center, because the drawing I based the template on was actually shot at a little bit of an angle, so it doesn't look perfect but it looks pretty nice. Now we're going to attach this yoke onto the frame. So I have my little elbow right here and my sharpie and so I'm going to trace it centered and about even with the top. So right here you have your little circle. It's nice and circled. So then you draw the midpoint and then that's the rotation axis. On this dot, you're going to drill a hole. And that's going to be your axis of rotation. To mount the potentiometer onto this, we're going to need a piece of plastic or a wood to clog it in. And then we'll drill a hole in that and put the potentiometer in so it'll be stay on. Here's a video of how this is going to work. I can play the didgeridoo. For the 90 degree elbow, the closest thing I could find to fit in it was the lens cap for my camera. So I'll just drill a hole in that. Just kidding. Don't worry, I made my own. It's actually a little off center, but that's okay. Sometimes it be like that. The method I'm going to use to put the potentiometer in the little hole is similar to the method I used on my 737 tiller video. So you should check that out and kind of like see how I do it. I just use a lot of hot glue basically. Make sure to watch out for my next video. It will be about mounting the potentiometer and hooking up to Arduino. Thank you for all of those who attended my live stream last Friday at 3.30 local, 9.30 Zulu. It was awesome. I got a good turnout and I learned a few things that are gonna improve in the next live stream.
November 704, Darling Below, contact Denver Departure on 121.5, Squad 7600.